Now this is the electric microphone. Uh, they use very commonly for microphones in cell phones, cameras. They're literally everywhere these days. Uh, so this, this is the microphone we're going to utilize. Now it's very important that you get the polarization of the pins correct. Uh, as you can see, the pin that has like the little traces that go to the case of the microphone, that is the negative pin. So I put uh, so you need to connect that to a negative, otherwise um, it won't work. So you need to connect grounds to um, the ground of the microphone. Uh, this is a one kilo ohm um, resistor. Uh, you're going to connect that to the positive lead of the microphone and then connect that to um, straight to positive. You don't want to connect it straight to. Um, you don't want to connect the microphone straight to positive, otherwise you won't have any variance or very little variance in the output signal of the microphone. Now it's time to uh, connect the power supply. So connect positive to the top, and negative to the bottom. Uh, this is a one microfarad um, electrolytic capacitor. Uh, this is going to be used to get rid of the DC offset of, of our output signal. Um, so we want, we want our signal to be around 0 volts. We don't want it to be hanging around 1 volt or 2 volts. So capacitors will let the AC signal go through, um, but they'll leave the DC behind, leaving, leaving us with a nice clean AC signal around 0 volts. So it should look like this at this point. Now just connecting a wire to the other side of the capacitor. Right, now it's time to test the microphone. So just plug the, um, the lead into the microphone port of your computer and that connects the other side to um, your microphone circuit. Make sure you uh, remember to switch your battery pack on. Right, so the, the audio that you're hearing now is the, uh, recorded, the recorded audio from our microphone that we've just made. I think it's time that we bring this project to an end. So first you want to get your length of RG402 coax, 230 millimeters, um, and strip about 8 millimeters off the end. Also remember to strip about 10 millimeters off the other end. The bit of wire that's sticking out of the coax is the positive and the outside of the coax is the negative. So solder the positive lead of the microphone to the positive and the negative to the negative. Now you need to insulate your microphone with some heat shrink tubing. This is a 4mm heat shrink tubing. Next, um, it's time to solder the coax to your board. So just put a right angle bend on the um, on the end of the coax that's got more stripped off it, and put a right angle bend on the uh, on the bit of wire that's sticking out. Your board should now look like uh, this. Now it's just a matter of um, soldering the rest of the components together, according to the schematic. The schematic will be in the description if you want that. Right, now it's time to test the microphone. So just plug the, um, the lead into the microphone port of your computer. So right now what you're hearing is the audio from my phone, my phone video camera. Um, now, now we'll switch to the audio that's coming from our microphone. So we'll just start recording there, turn it on. Now you should be able to hear that our microphone is working. Um, as you can see, it's just sitting beside my desk. Uh, I can use this for Skype calls because the, the microphone for this computer is not very good. Um, I'll probably use this for commentating all of my YouTube videos from now on. Um, so this microphone is a great project for the weekend, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.